Hello, I'm Richard Day. I'm a senior lecturer here at Cardiff University. I'm also part of the admissions team and I teach on the MSc Physiotherapy Programme. Uh, I am delighted to say that I have time today with Sanshan Su, who is one of our uh, students on the MSc yeah. programme at the moment. I know that you have taken precious time away from your uh, studies, your dissertation phase. First question, yeah. if I may, how is the dissertation yes, going? Um... Yes, mm, my dissertation is going well, and about uh, impact of uh, pain on motor learning. You know, some many friends when um, when they feel pain, yeah. they can't uh, to have sport or move fast. So now I we I need to collect the date about when you feel pain, about how to um, feel about your learning skills yeah going okay yeah doing well goes, goes, it's a big well. topic is what i feel yes, when, I, so when i listen to it i think it sounds really interesting yeah. but also wow it feels a, a lot of depth so that that sounds positive yeah. uh, well good luck with that overall mm -hmm. can i ask how have your studies been at cardiff have you enjoyed the time what, what have you what's been maybe the best best parts of your experience here at cardiff so far Yes, um, it's hard to say because it, it is a process, I think, from uh, varying to adapting to find it interesting. Um, you know, as an international student, I come to come into a new environment. It's a very big change in life and study compared to China. At first, I might have thought that uh, study is very difficult and what if I didn't pass the exam. However, I came here, I started my course, I found that uh, at Cardiff, the atmosphere is very good and all the friends, all the people are so friendly. And uh, you can also easily to get uh, many resources and happiness from others. Um, so, especially the teachers, I think is all of a uh, high standard. Um, and there is also a learning module where completing assignment in China is basically an uh, individual thing. But here, uh, you can meet uh, many people from all, all over the world to work with you on your group assessment, which is useful, I think. So, because you can get a lot of ideas uh, um, you haven't known before. So I think in Cardiff study, uh, it's very interesting and uh, you know sometimes different cultures will make different I mean, will make yeah, different, interesting sparks. Yeah, different ideas, different connections between yeah, 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 different yeah. people. That's that's a that's an interesting point. Yeah. Um, sometimes students uh, sort of say that there are challenges to yes. coming, and I, and one key one that I hear a lot is is potentially that people worry about. Uh, English language. Yes. So, from that perspective, how have you found that? Because I know that we we talk a lot, and <laughs> yes, we talk. We, 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 we talk a lot before. Yeah, we communicate yeah. well. But yeah, how have you found that as a transition from that specific specific challenge? Mm, I think mm, no, no, no. I I just want to say some. Uh, as an international student, we uh, come to China, mm, especially um, we. The English is not of the first language. Some of people think this is the biggest challenge. Um, some of terminology or some of common medical English is very difficult for us at first. And in class, um, if you are not in paying attention, you won't understand what the teacher is saying. Um, but uh, I think, I don't think uh, this is the biggest. I think, personally, I. I think the biggest challenge is uh, academic writing. Okay. So you need to understand how to um, use uh, use academic terms and uh, how to express your idea um, in logical way and how to make others understand what you want to say. Um, so this and even how to finish um, the academic writing in time. Okay. So. Uh, I think this is uh, these are not simple problems. So, uh, well, 
I hope well, you say it's not a simple problem, but I hope, <laughs> I hope you don't mind me saying that I know that you've been successful yeah. in all your assignments. So, so what was <laughs> the you. what was the secret? What what? How did you how did you make it so that you were successful in yes. those assignments? Was, is it hard work? Is it reaching out for support? What was it that made you? Yes, at first I think all the questions requires us to read many, a lot of articles and literatures yeah. in order to finish a good academic writing. And uh, you need to organize uh, your time wisely. Okay. That, 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 that's good to hear because I know that you have been successful at it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, if you had to give one piece of advice yeah. to a prospective student who was going to come and study here, yes. what would that be? be what would you say to that person oh if that person said i'm coming to cardiff next year yeah. any advice and you can give one thing what would, yeah. you, what would you say mm, mm, don't be anxious okay <laughs> you know uh man, why, why is that yeah why i i go the, i'm going to will but others many my friends told me about this when come here uh, um, at first, he will worry everything. Mm -hmm. Needed to go outside to talk with others and to say something, be bold and to say hi, to go travel, mm -hmm. to find many things, many many interesting things, and um, to say the word to travel. Yeah. Well, well I, hopefully we try and make it a, a safe environment that people are able to. Yeah. You know, express their thoughts in terms of, of, of those sort of physiotherapy ideas and it's been it's been really refreshing to work with so many international students for us as lecturing staff to hear the views from all over the world as well so yeah. that's that's really useful okay final question if I may yeah. what do you think the biggest change in yourself has been from doing this MSc what what is the thing that has shifted? Maybe it's not just giving knowledge, but what is it that's shifted? It's not about, oh, I know more about the paper. What is it that's shifted about you? Is what I'm interested to find out. Um, the biggest change? Um, I think uh, um, as a student, but uh, I, some, of, some of people just uh, graduate uh, from school and uh, go abroad. Um, by himself, by himself, and uh, he don't know how to organize his life and studies, and uh, how to uh, socialization, socialize. Yeah. Mm. So I think this is the big change. You need to change the thinking and to change the speaks way, and to talk with others, and to make more friends, uh, make it be better, and so on. So thinking about maybe what's changed in your experience here, what is it that you think is the big thing that has shifted in your thinking? It's not so much about learning more information, but perhaps how your approach to thinking and, and, and thinking about you know, critical thinking about physiotherapy based or clinical based topics. What, what has happened with your development in that? How do you feel that has progressed uh, over your time here? Yes, um, when I came here, I study uh, uh, these four modules and I find that it's very different from my previous learning. Um, because, uh, for example, why the tutor don't, didn't tell us how to treat a certain disease? just need us to think about where a certain approach uh, would be useful for these days. Um, uh, after that, I realized that I, I think uh, the tutor maybe uh, would be uh, develop us to uh, critical thinking mm. or build a mindset to find a best solution among them of approach uh, requires us to find our own answer and to learn to build a critical critical thinking yes yeah I, I think that's a common that's a common moment isn't it where perhaps students arrive and they think that 
maybe the lecturer will be the person to hand over the knowledge, yeah. but maybe the lecturer is the person with the with the opportunity to yeah. make someone to find out that knowledge and develop those thinking skills themselves. Yes. That's a really that's a really interesting viewpoint. San Chan Su, thank you so much for your time. Uh, as ever, uh, uh, an absolute pleasure uh, spending yes. time and, and chatting with you. And may I wish you the very best for your for your dissertation write up. Okay. I yes. hope it all goes well. Uh, yes. More writing to go off and do now, or have you got more to do? Uh, maybe work in your K and may pursue PhD okay, or so go back to China. Okay, bigger ideas in the future as well after this. Well, thank you. Thank you for your time thank and the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.